Jézusszal ideje egy perc, tíz másodperc, 40 hiba pontszám a második állagos pontszám 1160, összpontszáma 3084. Zárt of Hata Stevens on Darius, 9, 1 minute 10 seconds, 40 penalty points, total point dividing 1160, total point after 3 events, 3084. Te gondoltad? Jó. Hello and welcome to Budapest, Hungary for the fourth leg of the 2013 Modern Pentathlon World Cup Series. And we come to Hungary, one of the powerhouses of the sport. course will start as always with the fencing 
35 competitors, 36 competitors taking part, 35 bouts overall. Let's have a look at the start list there. Just remember the competitors have one minute to try and get a hit. The first hit brings Ben the victory. Selina Schonenborn competing. Her first World Cup event of the season, but that's Anna Buryak, who of course won the last leg in Chengdu. It's been a very good season for the Ukrainians in the women's event. Victoria Tirishuk winning in Palm Springs. And Buryak winning in Chengdu. And she produced a good fencing result overall. 23 victories for her, second overall, and there is Lena Schoenerborn. Olympic champion in 2008, had a very good season last year, but just couldn't carry that form into the Olympic Games, where she had finished 15th, won the Kremlin Cup in Moscow, and the World Championships in Rome. But unfortunately for her, she's not able to carry that form into London. But Schoenerborn... 13th overall after the fencing with 19 victories. It's great to see her back. Yukatina Buraskina, very good fencer. She was second overall after the fencing with 23 victories. And a possible 35. Still a relatively young athletes. It's first in the World Cup event in 2011. As we're coming to the end of her career, Yelena Rublyevska from Latvia, 37 years of age. Vastly experienced. The only woman to have ever competed in four consecutive Olympic Games. And unfortunately, losing out there to. Uh, Finnish opponent. Not too happy. Italian Gloria Tocci. She's fifth overall in the fencing. 22 victories. Number of talented Italian modern pentathletes. Just at the start of her career, really. Still very young. Has a promising career ahead of her. Well, Hungary always so strong in modern pentathlon, especially in the fencing. Christina Chesh, so equal fourth with 22 victories. Competed. Rio de Janeiro, where she finished 20th, and in Chengdu, she came home in 13th. There's Elodie Pluvel. Switched to modern pentathlon after not making the French swimming team in 2008 for the Beijing Olympics. It's gone really from strength to strength since then. A French woman, very, very good swimmer. She improved the fencing as well. 17th place for her. Overall, after fencing, strongest discipline yet to come. 20 victories out of a possible 35 for her. And that's the winner after fencing, Claudia Sarini. Very, very impressive. 29 victories from 35, just six defeats, just one short of. Xiaonan Zhang's world record of 30 victories, which is set in Palm Springs in the first World Cup event of the season. And the Italian never finished on the podium in a senior event. She was 25th at the London Olympics, but it's going very well after a very, very impressive fencing result.
So, just confirmation of the standings after the first event. Offensing, Claudia Sonini out on top. Well clear of the rest of the field. Very impressive 29 victories from a possible 35. Victoria Tereshuk, who won the first World Cup events of the year in Palm Springs, way back down in 23rd, but she can remain competitive. In the swimming and the fencing. Oh, sorry, the swimming and the riding, but she'll fancy her chances going into the combined, which is definitely her best event. So, move next to the swimming pool. First heat. Tanina Raskina. The second after the fencing. So Margot Sixon as well. Raskina, very good fencer, but not so good in the pool. First overall, time of 2 minutes 24.89. Then was won by the Belarusian, Yazarova. That's going to finish the heats in second place overall. He saw the turn of in Schönen Born to take to the ball. German, a very good all-rounder. Slightly disappointed though with her fencing results. 19 victories from a possible 35. She's looking to try and regain some time in the swimming pool. It's her first World Cup event of the season. So she did compete. Hungarian Championships and in the Berlin Open. Schöne Born would have to set up a fourth place overall in the heat. She finished 19th overall after the swimming. But here's the top heats, and of course, Elvi Pleuvel won all three. On every single swimming event in the World Cups this season. Surprisingly, but she was so close to making the French Olympic team for the 2018, sorry, 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. Such a formidable swimmer. It's really no surprise that she stormed a victory. At the time just shy of two minutes and seven seconds. athletes come into the sports through being good swimmers. Lovell coming home in first. Pushkina from Russia, hot on her tails. And these are the overall standings after the first two events. Claudia Cesarini out on top, closely followed by Elodie Lovell. Buryak in third place. Britain's going well as well. Marty Spence and Katie Burke, fourth and fifth. Let's move on to the third event of the women's individual competition, the riding. Just confirmation there of the overall standings. Christina Chesh and Leila Guinessi, home favourites in 8th and 10th. Still very much in this competition. Victoria Tereshuk did improve after the swim. Moving up to 17th place. Just one behind. Leila Schoenerborn. 
Monica Isaacson also there. She won the second event of this World Cup season in Rio de Janeiro. And that's the rest of the standings. Just way to try and pick up the action. Barbara Kudedova from the Czech Republic. Seven palms of fencing. 26 half of a swimming. Solina Schoenenbaum competing her ride. She also competed at the Budapest Open Cup this season, where she was third overall. She was 20th at the Kremlin Cup last season in Moscow. Didn't compete at the London Olympics. Good ride, could see her push up the overall standings. Young athlete from the Czech Republic. She's going well so far. Good confident start. Good approach to the fences. That's a really good clearance. Hi, Barbara. Fedeva. Clear run here. Put her in contention. Second at the Junior European Championships in Poland in the team event, 2011. Ninth in the individual. Yeah, it's got potential, and that's a really good ride. It's the 40 penalty points overall. Yeah, a ride that she can be pleased with. This one time I had a good ride. This is winning for the next competitor. Margo Isaacson. A bit of controversy for her in the pool earlier on. She was guilty of a false start, but wasn't disqualified, allowed to continue. Her second World Cup victory of the season, after being victorious. In Rio de Janeiro. Get her ride underway. Student. Competed at the Beijing Olympics, in fact, when she was only 16 years of age. She's fourth at the London Games. Just missing out on a medal. Had a really good season so far. Of course, first in Rio de Janeiro. Seventh in her home event in the United States at Palm Springs. Promising athlete. That's her first knockdown. Not giving enough height on the jump. Much better approach. Just clips the rail, but it stays on. Sixon. The 
tipping the rail, just has a look behind, but stays on and just for 40 penalty points for the American. So a good ride for her. She was 16 part of fencing. Decent swim as well. Minutes and 15 seconds. And a good ride, so she's certainly still in contention. Going into the combined. See in Chengdu, uh, a number of the uh, fancy competitors had a lot of problems on the shooting range, so it's really anything can happen. Virtual obviously for the athletes, but riding obviously can be such a lottery. She can go clear or penalty points to a minimum. Their chances going into the combined. Lovely day in the Hungarian capital and out in force. Is one of the local favourites. Who's up next? Getting a warm round of applause. Sophia. Oldaji. Ready to start her rides. Very young athlete. She's fifth of the competed at the Budapest Open. It's a knockdown already on the first fence. So strong in the modern pentathlon. She's had a very good season so far. Won the Budapest Open Cup, second of the Hungarian Indoor Championships, and third at the second World Cup event of the season in Rio de Janeiro. Two knockdowns so far. Just stumbles into that fence but manages to get over. Standings a bit. We've gone behind Isaacson and Vedova. For her to try and keep penalties to a minimum. Completes the last section. There's the 80 penalty points for her. <laughs> Get off to a great as it starts, but recovered well. It's very difficult for the younger athletes riding so much man. Experience plays such a key role. The riders have so little time to get accustomed to their horses, which are drawn by lots. Ten minutes of practice fences, and that's pretty much it. The experience obviously does play a massive role. Able to control the horse, we've seen on many occasions even some of the most experienced athletes do have problems as well. Competitor to take to the course. Raskina from Russia. Seconds after the fencing. Disappointing swim, though. Way into the arena. Best events are the fencing and the combined, so she can. 
Bit of a good run up round here. Fancy her chances going to the final event. She competed in Rio and Palm Springs this season. Fourth in Palm Springs, just missed out on a podium finish. Was eighth for second leg in Rio de Janeiro. to get her line underway. Approach into the first fence, cleared with ease. Bit of a stumble, but no, not down so far. Free jump section. There's a first knockdown. First in the team event in Rio. It's really two knockdowns. Most of the riders have very few knockdowns. Each one is so critical. That's going to show dropping down below Isakson and Kodedova. And it's a third, so just his final two fences to go. Clips a rail, but stays on. Raskina gets around the course. Yeah, yeah, taking a bit of a blow. Those yeah, yeah. three knockdowns. Yeah, yeah. experienced athlete. Seconds. Around on the scene for a number of years. Three knockdowns. Three shots. A little confident going into that fence. Another Hungarian, Stina Chesh. Decent fencing result for her. Not too bad to She's competed in Chengdu. Last time out was 13th overall. 20th in Rio de Janeiro. So it's her third World Cup event of the season. Generation really of here in modern pentathletes. It's ready to start her round. Clips the first fence. Stumbles a bit, but it's decent recovery. Not down so far. It's a free jump section. Uh, second knockdown. So, what to do for the Hungarian? Contention. It's much better. A lot, lot more height on the clearance. Recovery of a, of a disappointing start. Just his final two jump section to go. Tips a rail that stays on and it's a warm round of applause from a home crowd. Eight penalty points for her. So attention going into the combined. Get off the grid to start after knocking down the first fence. To clear that second one, but restricted with the hind legs. So next should be another Russian. 
Ludmila Kukushkina. season in Chengdu, finished fifth overall, didn't compete in the London Olympic Games, strength of the Russian squad. Yet to appear on the podium in a World Cup event. of the arena. Or is Weber here in Budapest? Well, 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 Here. They've found that first fence tricky, uh, not down immediately for Kukushkina. It clips a rail, but it stays on. This really catches the third fence heavily. Two knockdowns downs already. Most confident of rides so far. Stumbled into that fence. Just way down the standings. Three knockdowns already. Battle on really for Kukushkina to try and stay in the running going into the combined. Knocked down to 16th place. It's a refusal. Danger of getting time penalties as well. Because Hope's really taking a bit of a battering. It's much better. Taking that free set, free fence section. It's final two fences to go. For the Russian. The knockdown at the last. It's 200 penalty points plus time penalties. Didn't get off a great start, not only that first fence. Trouble getting control of the horse. Disappointment. Russian. Dolce, up next from Italy. This is very new to the senior circuit. We started competing on the senior circuit this season. Second of the Swiss Women's International Competition. Side from out, just competed on the juniors. And her strength is for combined, so she can get a relatively clear round. But certainly fancy her chances. That's her first knockdown. Good approach. Get 
that fence plenty to spare. Had a decent junior career. Really being spectacular, and that's a views all. Clocks will be stopped. Officials reset the fence. Some time to get the horse under control, settle her nerves. <laughs> Bell goes and she can resume. And again, another refusal. down the standings. He's going to get a lot of time penalties as well. Stone 14th. Just a minute off the current leader. Our fellow Italian, Claudia Cesarini. Very good at the combined, so he down. Another Hungarian, Lila Inesi, taking to the arena. Small through swimming like so many modern pentathletes. Also a decent rider. It was clear of that first fence. Never found difficult. She's had a good World Cup season so far. Seventh in Rio, tenth in Palm Springs. Missed out, didn't travel to Chengdu for the third World Cup event. She recovers well. D didn't look confident. First and second fences. No knockdown so far. You know, see. It's turning into a very good ride so far. For the Hungarian. Only on for a clear round here. Very much in contention going into the combine. So it's free. Then section. Clips a second, but it stays on. So just two fences to go. For Guinessi. Oh, just as the originally deserved for Guinessi. Clear round. <laughs> Right. Got every chance. Uh, finishing on the podium. She won actually the team relay in Palm Springs. Madam Marashi. Hungarian indoor championships. Good form this season. Of course, the seventh place finish in Rio and the tenth place finish in Palm Springs. With every chance of bettering that, still very much in contention. Ulnaz Ubaidulina. Trouble early on, trying to control the horse. Is a bit of assistance from her coach. Wainulina, young athletes, very good swimmer. Six in Palm Springs, disappointing result though in Rio, where she was 27th overall. In 
contention. Very important for her to get the horse under control early. It's her approach to the first fence, which has proved tricky, but good clearance, plenty of height, and a good approach. Clips the rail, but it stays on. <laughs> Very well done. Michael right, Baidulina. Confident so far. generation really of Asian women and athletes. Women have been in the shadow really of the men in the last decade or so. It's just telling us to get shorter strides. That's the first knockdown. She's final two fences to go. And an excellent ride by Ulnaz Ubaidulina, just the 40 penalty points for that knockdown. Went for a ride, but still very much in contention going into the combined. So after three events, three her ride, but certainly she'll be pleased with her efforts. Getting into the final few competitors. So the Yanova should be up next. Sixth after the fencing. And the swimming. Mm -hmm. Shooter. Competed in Palm Springs and Chengdu. Took part in the London Olympics. So coming down to the final few competitors. There's that first fence. It's 19 seconds off the lead. Start of a ride. First knockdown, and a second. It's pressure on Diana at the moment. A test of a rider's mental strength. The younger athletes, if they have knockdowns earlier on the course. Just a bit of stumble, but good recovery. section goes clear. Another knockdown. 120 penalty points so far. 160 and Diana down to 13th place. Currently a minute left. <laughs> Time, 1 minute 8 seconds, 160 penalty points, 
overall We're really producing a number of very young and talented modern modern athletes competed at Palm Springs and Chengdu 21st position for her it's an early knockdown Two knockdowns early on. Berg regaining her composure. Won't want any more, though. It's much better. Five of Britain. So just two fences to go. Oh, shame. Had recovered so well. 20 penalty points overall. Now in his seventh position. Terry Shook. 17 going into the riding. Nelson Ride for her. With her in contention. She's so good at the combined. Three seconds is nothing for her try and make up. So, Burks, Patrick, Britain, Mary Spence up next. Good results, six after the fencing, tenth after the swimming. World Championships last year in Rome. Did in the home Olympics where she was 21st. It's got one World Cup event for her so far this season in Rio where she's a disappointing 33rd. Got a stutter into that fence but recovering well. Uh, modern Bintaflon after watching the 2000 Olympic Games. In Scotland in the Commonwealth Games. Silver medal, 2010. Good ride so far. Every chance of getting a clear round. Clips of Benson stays on and a very, very good round, very good ride by Mary Spence. No penalty points, good time. And an excellent ride. So I need someone to look out for going into the combined. And with three more still to go, chance of points. So the combined in first place. So, just three riders to go. Up next, Anna Buryak of Ukraine. Who won the last World Cup events in Chengdu. It's a very solid display there. Second after fencing. Decent swim, 12th position. Uh, going into the riding. 
It goes clear on that first fence, which some riders have found difficult. to be young athletes, and that's a first knockdown. A victory in Chengdu by far the biggest result of her career. It's third of the European Championships last year in Sofia. Didn't compete in London. athletes, bit of a stumble, but good recovery. And free jump section, just free Francis to go. Stings on the horse. And a good ride by Budiak, just for 40 penalty points for her, so she's still very much in contention. Level with Spence, 13 seconds behind the current leader, Sarini. So, two athletes to go. There's two athletes to go. Here's a penultimate one. They're in turn the first. Talented athlete was six in Chengdu. It's a first knockdown already for Clubel and a second. Still relatively young. Over time, certainly her riding will improve. Maybe even half as good as a swimming. She's certainly a formidable athlete. seconds behind the leader. Still yet to go though. Over that free jump section, three fences to go. Clatters that fence. And just ran with 120 penalty points, so Currently, 30 seconds on the lead, but with Zanini still to go, and if it can happen. So just one athlete to go. Well, Van Zafflen through swimming. Never finished on the podium in a senior event. Maybe the London Olympics, where she was 25th overall. He did in the one World Cup event this season. Sorry, she hasn't competed in the World Cup event this season. This is her first. She took part in Chengdu last season. Rostov, Rio, knocked down already. Just 
Benson Budiak. Zarini has another knockdown, we'll move into the lead. That's exactly what has happened. Zarina. Zarini releasing her. It's like a bit of a battering, really. 20 penalty points. That's so about halfway through the course. Jump section. Bit of ice on that clearance. And a good finish. Down to sixth place. So, going to be Marie Spence and Anna Buriak. We'll have the lead going into the combined. Oriak looking for a second World Cup victory this season. Confronted Chengdu. Mari Spence. With the exception of the London game, she was a very good season last year. She won the World Championships. Just confirmation there of the standings and a great ride by Mila Ginesi, really pushing her up the standings. Victoria Tereshuk lurking there as well. 30th seconds behind the leaders. She'll certainly fancy her chances given how good she is at the combined. Margo. He's extensed, also in good tension. Aldaji, Palm Springs, an individual. continuing their excellent form this season. to the Shulk, very much in good tension. Marty Spence and Zeta Ganeshi going clear. Pretty much going clear, just being four time penalties for her. Worth keeping an eye out for Gloria Tocci as well, the Italian. So 45 seconds behind the leader, but very good at the combined. Werner Schoenenborn, first competition for her of the season. Running up the rest of the competitors.
Hello and welcome to Budapest in Hungary. Fourth leg of the 2013 Modern Pentathlon World Cup Series. And as always, we start with the fencing. 36 competitors in all, 35 bouts. Each competitor having a minute to try and get the hits. We'll see them take a victory. First hit wins. No hit is scored within the minutes. Neither competitor will receive a point. There's Anna Buryak from Ukraine. She won the last World Cup event in Chengdu. It's been a really good season for the Ukrainian women. This was Victoria Tereshuk winning in Palm Springs. Buryak up against Isak Skunver of the United States. And a welcome return to the competition for Lena Schoenborn. First World Cup events of the season. The champion in 2018 had a really good season last year, winning the World Championships in Rome, but unfortunately couldn't carry that form into the Olympics in London. She finished 15th overall on the Kremlin Cup last season as well in Moscow. A vastly experienced competitor. Irina Raskina from Russia. Very good fencer, second overall with 23 wins. It's fourth in Palm Springs, first World Cup event of the year, eighth in Rio. Competed in the London Olympics where she was 17th. She places behind Schoenborn of Germany. Veteran Lena Lublievska from Latvia. And the have competed in four Olympics. Very good fencer. Too happy there with her Finnish opponent. A bit of emotion. Here's Gloria Tocci of Italy. Good fencing for her. Third overall, sorry, fifth overall, 22 victories. And someone to watch out for. Very good at the combined, so she can stay in contention going into that event. Well, fancy her chances. Local favourites, Christina Czech of Hungary. Hungarians so good at the modern pentathlon, especially the fencing discipline. Technically gifted. Czech. Using a decent result, fourth. 22 victories. Zelodie Leveille. And throughout the modern pentathlon world for a swimming ability. Well, she finished. Well, she just missed out on selection for the 2008 French Olympic swimming team. One reason that she moved into modern pentathlon. Good fencing result for her, seventh overall. She was swimming her strongest event yet to come. the overall leader after the fencing, Claudia Cesarini. Almost setting a world record, just one victory of Zhao Nan Zhang's all-time best in Palm Springs when Zhang won 30 from 35. Cesarini managing 29 from 35, but still a very impressive result by the Italian. 
Never finished on the podium in a senior event. Kukushkina. So good, Russia. Mr. Fainzink, is it a surprise for yourself today? Mm, yes, it's a surprise, but uh, I, I know that uh, I have this fencing, so today I, I, can, um, I can touch uh, my, um, my fencing, my real uh, um, <laughs> fencing, yes, performance, yes, thank you. It gives you the additional confidence, the winning and the fencing, or, or not, just, just yes. the usual feelings? Yes, it's additional confidence because uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy. And so next uh, uh, swimming, uh, riding, uh, and I, I'm preparing to do very, very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Good Thank luck. you very Thank much. You. Bye. Cesarini, well ahead of the rest of the field. Uh, six victories more than their nearest opponents. Always have some firm standings. Uh, Victoria Tinishuk, who won the first World Cup events. Palm Springs, Isakson winning the second in Rio de Janeiro. And we move on to the second event for swimming. Pick up the action for the first heat. Featuring Claudia Rosarini. And Ekaterina Huraskina. She's doing it very well in this fencing. Raskina, very good swimmer. We'll be up there with the ones of Elodie Cleuvel. She's one of the best swimmers on the women's circuit. Cesarini, not quite as good in the pool as she is in fencing. Comes for victory in the end. Elizarova from Belarus. Raskina. Doing as well. Hamez in Schönenborn in Germany. As I said earlier, in your first World Cup appearance of the 2013 season. Going is Christine Chesh of Hungary. She's well in contention after the fencing. Fourth place overall for her. 22 victories from her 35 bouts. Then I'm going to cross the 2008. Olympic champion, didn't fare as well in London last year. Chesh in contention. Second place overall with a time of 21.36. And the final heat. Featuring Elodie Cleuvel. Ludmila Kukushkina. Also a very good swimmer, Kukushkina. The other Russian, Ulnas. Baidulina. That was really no surprise, but Lubel won the swimming event. Just a little earlier, just missed out on selection for the French swimming Olympic team in 2008. She would come home in first place, just ahead of Ludmila Kukushkina and Ulnaz Mubaidulina. Kukushkina second overall, Mubaidulina third. Russians in contention as well. 
that's well, the overall leader after the first two events is Claudia Cusarini. Today, moving herself up into second position. Baji. She's been on the podium already in this World Cup season. In third place in Palm Springs. Victoria Down the standings. And we move on to the third event. The riding. Just confirmation of the standings. Anna Buriak still going well as well. Buriakpa winner in Chengdu. British pair of Marty Spence and Candy Burks, also very much in contention. Spence was the women's individual champion at the World Championships last year in Rome. Schoenerborn in 16th, Tereshuk in 17th. Hey, action. <laughs> Confirmation there. Yeah, uh, yeah, of Russia. She was third overall in the swimming. Seven class to go. victories for her in the fencing. Well, a new generation really of Russian female modern pentathletes. They have been in the shadow perhaps of the men. So, <laughs> we see if uh, we're soon grabbing the headlines. We see of course the double Olympic champion. Going well so far. Just clips the fence, but it stays on. Короче, короче, короче. Told the shortness strikes by a coach. It's her first knockdown. She's had a drop place in the standings. It's a good clearance. It's these two final fences to go. That's an excellent ride by Gulnas Gubaidulina of Russia. Gulnas Gubaidulina of Russia. 40 points for that knockdown. Very much in contention. Gubaidulina. Total points after 3 160 points. Goodbye, Dulina. Hungarian athletes. Czech athletes. Natalie Dianova. Later, Genesi, the Hungarian. She went just before. By Dulina and ordered a clear round. Excellent ride by Inessi. Big cheer by her home crowd. Inessi was part of the Hungarian team that won the team competition in Palm Springs along with Adam Marashi. This is Natalie. Fencing with 19 victories from 35. Good swim. Time of two minutes and ten seconds. It's good enough for sixth place, so she's sixth coming into the riding. Fence, which has caused a few problems for some of the riders. Just trying to get 
settled. This free jump section. It's a first knockdown. And a second, so Diana was taking a bit of a hit early on. Two knockdowns already. Slightly, but manages to recover well. Not able to pick up any more penalty points. It's remaining contention. It's an unwelcome knockdown. So his final two bets to go. Well, the and that's another knockdown. So. 160 penalty points, puts about in 13th at the moment. Nine <laughs> Victoria Tereshuk, the winner in Heart Springs. She had an excellent ride earlier on. Picked up four time penalties, so 1,196 points for her. Right back in contention. She's Katie Burke of Great Britain is ready to go. Slightly disappointing season so far. <laughs> Certainly got potential. Put it to go 21st places in Palm Springs and Chengdu, and that's two knockdowns already. Swimming is her preferred event. Championships last season in Bulgaria. <laughs> that goes round. Result of Kate Burke on Passion. Now, only three seconds. 120 penalty points, total points deriving 1080. So, up next, Patrick. 3,100. Look at the sport after watching it. It's on TV. 2,000. Olympic Games in Sydney. Inspired by the success of the British woman there. Or champion in 2012, winning women's individual in Rome. Part in her home Olympic Games in London, but a bit of a disappointed to finish 21st. She's having a good event here. Rio, where had a World Cup event uh, for Getz, finishing in 33rd place. Missed the World Cup series in Chengdu and Palm Springs. This is proving to be an excellent ride so far by Mari Spence. To follow in the Ganesh's steps and going clear. Fact that has had on Ganeshi, she's gone right up the leaderboard. It's really well done by Spence. There's three fences to go. Excellent ride by Murray Spence. 
Very we much in contention going into combined. combined. Time. Five five seconds. Seconds. Excellent ride. Fencing. It was a strength, really. She finished six overall. And 21 victories. Very good display. She's part of a Scottish team that won the silver medal at the 2010 Commonwealth Games. Is Anna Buryak of Ukraine. She's already won a World Cup event this season. Darius. Clear on that first fence. A bit of a stutter, but it's good recovery. Buryak, a very good all round athlete. A lot of confidence from her victory in Chengdu. So her first real triumph on senior circuits. It's really in the infancy of a senior career. Started competing on the senior circuits three years ago. Excellent ride so far. Just two fences to go. Stayed on the horse. Team knockdown points so far. Uh, it's an excellent ride by Anna Buryak. Very pleased very good ride. So, just two riders to go. Elodie Cluvet from France, who won the swimming. In second place. Going into the riding. The pressure on the leading two. Zanini, after excellent rides by Buriak Spence and Lila Ganesi. Kluvel getting underway. Just clips up first fence. And the second. And already Cluvel dropping below Spence and Buriak. Slips a railing, but it stays on. This season was a sixth place finish in Chengdu. Finished last in Rio. That's another knockdown. Well, it has been her problem event sometimes. She comes around. So. 20 penalty points after the three knockdowns, time penalties as well. Get off to the best of starts. Two of the knockdowns. Relatively young. Time to improve. 
So, just the final rider to go. That's Italy's Claudia Zarini. Produced a stunning fencing result of 29 wins from 35. Shy of a share of the world record. Kept herself in contention with a decent swim. Certainly not her preferred discipline. But certainly the pressure is on after some excellent rides by her competitors, her nearest rivals. Uh, not a great start. Cesarini and knocked down at the first. 25th at the London Olympics, never finished on the podium. And Spence and Buryak have the lead. They will start as the leaders going into the combine as Cesarini drops down into fourth place. Emilio Ganeshi, I'm in the third, but, uh, going clear. Three knockdowns already, we that four for Desarini. Hundred and sixty penalty points already. For the Italian. Goes over that three jump section. Just three more fences to go. Has to make sure she goes doesn't have another knockdown. Let's do that. She'll start. Just under 30 seconds. The leaders, Spence and Anna Bodiak. Get off to the greatest start. Serini. Total points arriving 1,040. No, not, no time penalties for Cesarini, but... Uh, to be first on the starting line, what does it mean for you? It's, it's good, yeah. There's still um, 3,200 metres to run and four times five targets to shoot down. So there's still a lot to do, but it's, it's a nice place to start in. Tough group in the starting line and uh, how you think, what option will be crucial during the combine? Um, shooting well is always... The, the key to performing well in the combined. If you can get those shots down as quickly as possible, then you can work through the running and, and it's definitely the key is to shoot down as fast as you can. You were at the first place uh, during the semi-final, but is it important for you or, or not before today's start? Oh, it was great semi-final result, but it doesn't matter. You wipe the slate clean, you start again today and it's anyone's game and you just start from scratch and we're all back on even keel again. Thanks so much, good luck, and yeah, going. Palm 
rings with world understandings. Remember, it's not it's 30 to 40 seconds off the leaders, but so good at the combine. She managed to make up that. Take up a lead on Naolan Zhang, the Chinese I athlete. Shocked everyone for the performance there. Yeah. Slowly but surely, eight away at the lead, and in the end was a comfortable winner. Well, athlete to watch out for, perhaps it's Gloria Tocci from Italy. Very good at the combined, as she showed in qualifying. Anything under 12 seconds, and the athletes will be pleased. Berg from Great Britain. Chances take a bit of a hit. During the riding. Three knockdowns. get underway. Just warming up, getting my limbs going freely. Lena Rubliowska, a 37-year-old. My athlete she has been. Sun shining. The spectators. Hungary yeah, really, really a powerhouse of modern pentathlon in both women's and men's events. Five minutes to start, five minutes to start. I try and ask everyone to run up official of the shooting games. Please go to the shooting games. Time has been pushed back just slightly. Thank you. Athletes have a bit more time to prepare. Thank you. Thank you. Slide delay. Reinstated. Yeah. 
Hát a végig is láttam ezen a pályán, nem mondom, hogy nagyon átkidélő, de hát az én futónak áll, az nem is azért megy. Minden esetben. Torin Tereshuk was very close to following them, but picked up four time penalties. Really, I mean, any athletes under a minute behind the leaders fancy their chances. Certainly look out for Victoria Tereshuk. I've spoken a bit about her. She see her running towards the start line. Right on her back. Very, very dangerous. Ukrainian athletes. She's so quick on the flat ground. So just a minute to go till we get underway. Athletes making their way to the start line, the final few. Spence and Buryak to leave the start line together. Both more than capable athletes. Spence, the reigning world champion for that title in Rome. Buryak wing the last leg in Chengdu. Ten Start gun to go. Five, four, three, two, on your mark, start. So, first two athletes are uh, off and running. So they go to the shooting range. So excellent shooting by both athletes so far. Spence away in just over 10 seconds, quickly joined by Bordiak. Ganesi having a few problems. Those first two have really opened up a gap. By Dulina, going well, as is Klubej, and an excellent time by Kubai Dulina and Klubel as well. Victoria to the shock of the range. See how quickly she's get away. 16 seconds, 16 and a half seconds for her. Sure. She can increase. Spence and Boriak have opened up a 20 second lead. Over Kulmas, Kulmai Dolina. Uh, Uriak hits for front. 
Quite well in a leading the chasing pack. Ahead of Judy Cluvel and Ganesi. There's Boriak. Slight lead over Barney Spence. This is where it's much of a Victoria Teddy Shook yet. Finally close for Yam. Why do Lena leading the chasing pack? On a catch, Boriak and Spence. Only shoot will be crucial. Back Spence and Boriak with Chris Bellin. 25 seconds, where is Tilly Shook? Not past Zanini. Coming to sixth place. We are in the lead. This will be competitors further down in the field. Here's Ian. Join the leaders at the shooting range. Spence. Missing there. This is good a shoot. Boriak's having a few problems. That's a Spence. This could give... Chasing back. It's catching up and Spence has gone clear, but just over 20 seconds. Buriak still there. Just took almost half a minute. Just so, no, over half a minute. And quite dual in there. It's a really good shoot. And again, 10 seconds for her. She certainly will have closed the gap. And Tina Shulk, just 13 seconds for her. So it's still a long way to go. In this combined event. Not over yet. Ganeshi. Passed by Victoria and Tina Shulk. Marty Spence has the lead. Oh, Spence and Buriak suffering from that second shoot. Six seconds was the gap after coming out of a range. So, it's probably increased that lead. Why do you Bringing up some ground. And put under pressure from Teddy Shaw. Fourth bow from the athletes not to go flat out too early. Oh, Teddy Shaw. Here's some 40 seconds, 45 seconds off the leaders. Going on for the first shoot. She's cut that deficit to the 20. Mori Spence in the lead. Well, Mano Buriak pushing for eight. Simpsonville. Sixson on the range. Simpsonville, sister. Mano Goli Sixson as well. Ganeshi getting a big cheer from the home crowd. Marges got it as well, perhaps. Here in Athletes. Clever has dropped way down. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Shot's still in the lead. Come into the third shoot. Third place. As I can see, it's half as Spence. We are going well. Another miss for Spence. Uh, she's away in 15, quickly followed by Bourian. Tira Short just needs one more clearance to go away from the range. And Tira Short should be well in contention now. Really, 10 seconds for an athlete of Tira Short's calibre is nothing. White Dorlida continuing her good shooting on the range. Just have the speed on the flat. Spence in the lead. Increase her advantage from Boriag. Tilly Shook coming into shot as well. Coming to the 100 meters. So, 100 meters till the final shoot, which really will. Side. We're going home with gold medal. Tereshuk's closing gap for six seconds. It's fine if she goes into the shoot first. Why do you trying desperately to make up some ground? So now Buryak now is moving into the lead. Spence does look to be tiring a bit. <laughs> Buryak and Tina Shulka both won World Cup events this season. Very He's going past Omar's Gubay Dolina. A big cheer from the home crowd. Omar's well, moved up to the sixth place. Look at by Irina Rublevska as well. Oh, it's an eighth at the moment. And Tira Shook has gone past Spence. It's neck and neck with a compatriot, Anna Buryag. So, really, it's a crucial part of this race. The final shoot, Tira Shook. And Buryag. Tira Shook has a first miss. Buryak is one away from going clear. She'll need a big cushion given the speed of Tirishuk. Tirishuk having problems. The gap is already 15 seconds. Spence having, won't have a chance of getting back into this race. So, it's going to be between the two Ukrainians, I think, for the gold medal. Has Buryak given herself enough an advantage? Right now, Tina Shuk is the quicker of the two. But can she make up 15 seconds? Goodbye, Dulina. Getting away. <laughs> Try and catch Mari Spence, Gulbay Dulina and Ganeshi. Buryak in the lead. 13 seconds ahead of Victoria Tereshuk, but Tereshuk will be going flat out. But nothing to lose, doesn't have to keep anything in reserve for the shoot. 
and the Buryak Mongol will be back to back World Cup victories. Or can Tirishuk make it two out of two? Or two out of four after winning in Palm Springs in the first World Cup event of the season. Benz looks tired. Boryak in the lead. Tedder Shook has closed the gap slightly. This is Boryak's race to lose. Spence looks as though she's probably got enough to hold on for third place. 20 second lead from Nele Ganeshi. Buryak way out in front and she's just about to cross the line. That's a second successive World Cup victory for Anna Buryak. Really is in some great form. Uh, she pips her compatriots, Victoria Tidishuk. It was let down really on the shooting range. Mali Spence will complete the podium lineup. Very good performance from her. Really got herself way into contention for an excellent ride. And Leila Gadetti gets a big cheer. And she crosses the line in fourth place. Followed by Kubai Jordan, a good result for the young Russian as well. Isaacson. She gets six. Having a chat with Mary Spence. Competitors. Cross the line. A few months Anna Buryak is having. Never won a World Cup event, never finished on the podium, in fact. And in the space of two months, he's won two out of two. Final competitors just crossing the line. Disappointment perhaps for the Italian. What was expected of Tocci, Gloria Tocci? All in handy. And the combined. Good result from Claudia Zaniri. Zaniri, she was excellent at fencing. Well, I think that's not going to plan, which affected her overall results. Performance by Leila Ganeshi. Boxing Hungarian athletes. The Ukrainians have now won three of the four women's events this season. Person who's managed to stop the Ukrainian domination, Margot Isakson, who won in Rio de Janeiro. We can hear from Anna Budyak.
and uh, who also, no, I'm very happy. That, is that it? I don't believe because no, I very happy. Thanks so much. Buryak uh, saying that she can't believe the fact that she's managed to win two World Cup events back to back. Confirmation of the podium lineup. More success for Ukraine. Anna Buryak in first, Victoria Tidishuk in second, Mari Spence of uh, Great Britain. Podium position of the season. She's the reigning world champion, of course. Brings to an end an excellent day of competition for the women in Budapest. The, the turn of the men on Sunday. Ukraine have also had success with Pavel Tomoshenka. Chengdu. Certainly the Hungarians and the Russians will have something to say about that. But a richly deserved success for Anna Buryak. Second after the fencing, 12th after the swimming, 9th of the riding, 